Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more relationship stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. My fiance declared he needs to get an STD test for reassurance now that I'm three months postpartum. How would you react to your partner needing a test for reassurance you aren't cheating? Randomly? Deflecting his cheating. <laughs> That's how I would react. I just gave birth to our first son three months ago. I know they say not to make any big decisions during the first year, but I'm starting to become concerned that our lack of doing so is hurting us all. I'm feeling a bit in a funk. I feel gross, ugly, and deformed since giving birth. I'm embarrassed to admit this, but I did just give in at three weeks postpartum to start having sex with him again. I do have a high sex drive, but I would be lying if it wasn't partially to keep him satisfied. Well, lo and behold, I ended up with a uterine infection. Got the antibiotics, or better for the most part, but I've been getting random yeast infections ever since. Well, a couple weeks ago, after having sex, he noticed that his private was a little red, inflamed, and burn a bit. I apologized and was embarrassed thinking it might have been from my infection. A few more times and nothing happens, until today. I had sex with him right before leaving for work, and when I got there, I seen a text from him saying, my private is burning again, I need to go get checked and an STD test. Um, a STD test? So I asked if he cheated on me, because what? And in response, I got a slew of responses about how, no, I'm the one cheating on him. He can't believe I'm cheating on him. I call him in disbelief and he aggressively accuses me of cheating on him. I tell him that not only of course would I not, but you get routinely tested multiple times throughout pregnancy. If he was concerned it was like an old lingering one from a past relationship, he then begins to hyper focus on why I'm bringing up that time period. Basically I'm brought into a line of questioning that I can't win. He just knows I'm cheating on him and he can't believe it. I asked him to take our son to his mum's because his tone was worrying me. I didn't want my son to hear him and become worried. That too was highly suspect and exactly what a cheater would say. Apparently the way I went about it was suspicious and that he just wanted reassurance and my reaction was off. I felt like I couldn't say anything right. I was trying to reassure him but I felt like I had to defend myself too which led into me wanting to know why he would want to be with me if he even thinks I could do something like that. And do I want to be with someone who thinks that way about me? He kept saying that he will know when he gets the results and I won't have to worry. So I told him I don't want to be around him until he gets his results. Go to his mum's. I told him I need a space, which told him everything he needed to know. After a lot more arguing and trying to defuse, he goes on to tell me he just gets scared based on his past and that I see him as less than because I pay all of our bills. On top of ongoing drug issues, the last incident was just yesterday with him stealing my Adderall from me again. Again. So I can see why he would be insecure that I'd leave him I guess, but this just felt so out of line to me. I'm having a hard time dealing with PPD and anxiety with going back to work while leaving my baby. I may have overreacted when I said I need a space apart, but I feel so overwhelmed. I feel like I try so hard because I love him so much. He told me if I was willing to kick him out, that would be it. He wouldn't come back. Basically, he thinks I went about it the wrong way and sounded suspicious, and he deserved reassurance from me without the defensiveness. I feel like I should have never had to deal with that in the first place when I do so much for him. I obviously love him. I put up with a lot. He doesn't understand why his accusation was so hurtful to me. Even now, after we've talked it through, he clearly doesn't see it like I do, mocking me about saying I felt devastated. How should I even feel about this? At least with his other issues, drugs, I can understand he's not trying to hurt me and there are other motives, but this feels like an attack on my character. Like how could he love me if he thinks that way of me? Was I wrong to not be more understanding of his past trauma? Is needing an SVD test from my fiancé a normal way of getting reassurance? I'm so confused and hurt. Is any of this normal postpartum arguing? Oh my god. So he's literally gaslighting her and then deflecting everything. Maybe he saw it as a chance, you know. He was like, I cheated and I got an STD, but good, she has an infection, so we can blame it on her. All I'm thinking is why are they together, <laughs> you know? I will not let my kid grow up around someone like that, okay? Abuses drugs, steals people's medications, all right? Doesn't pay anything, <laughs> is not responsible, accuses you, no thanks. If you're worried about your partner seeing you less than, then maybe you should do something. Why are you blaming your partner when you're insecure about something that you can literally fix? You know, just do better then and then you can feel good about yourself, right? The fact that he was already off to get an STD test says a lot, right? Like, that's crazy. <laughs> that's the first thing he would do. There is no good qualities in this man. Girl, you can do way better, all right? Give your son a better environment. My boyfriend told me he was scheduled to work all day today for his birthday. I drove to surprise him just to be told he wasn't working today. He lied about work so he wouldn't have to include me in other plans. Why? My boyfriend and I had probably the picture-perfect relationship for a year and a half. 
We were great on communication, chemistry, priorities, everything was right, and we solved any small conflict smoothly. It wasn't until a rough patch in May where he suddenly became distant and blocked me out of his life. He went from updating me about everything to me barely getting lucky if I would get a goodnight text. He pulled up on a motorcycle out of boom one night when I wanted to see him and I had no clue he'd even bought one, let alone knew how to ride so well already. He started talking more again and seeing each other to work on things. And the harder he tries to emphasize how much he loves me and how much he wants us to be okay, the treatment gets worse. Today is maybe the fourth time I caught him in a lie when it came to plans. He arranged that he would pick me up this afternoon so I could spend time with him and his family on his birthday. However, he said he was working all morning and I couldn't see him, so I went to surprise him. His coworker told me he wasn't scheduled for today. Yesterday, he told me he was working all day and this morning I found out he was at the beach with his friend instead. He spent the last days begging me to join him on his birthday, but instead he lied about every single thing to make sure I wouldn't be involved. We were talking fine last night, everything was fine, but I woke up this morning to lies and his friends and family blocked me. What leads someone to do this? Um, maybe there's a misunderstanding, right? Because why would he do that? It just sounds like he broke up with her, but in his own accord, right? And then he blocked her and told his family that so his whole family blocked her. Yeah, I think it's over. <laughs> right? If his whole family blocks you and he blocks you, then the relationship is over on his end. But he just doesn't want to tell you. He wants to ghost you instead. Well, that's sad. But, girl, that's fine. Because why would you want to be with someone like that who can't break up normally? At least choose your man to have some respect for you that they will break up with you in person okay thanks well that's it for the video hope you guys enjoy tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are and as always thanks for watching hope you guys liked it and i'll see you guys next time bye